Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your Zeus diagnostic tool and covers the use of the global OBD2 scanner functions. I'm Jim Moritz, global field trainer and sales support representative. Global OBD scanner coverage is strictly related to emissions-related coverage and is universal in that all vehicles sold in the U.S. and Canada since 1996 must comply with this standard. All 10 modes of OBD2 are covered by this tool and are accessed by selecting the OBD Direct icon on the home screen. Menu selections will vary depending on the service mode supported by the vehicle being tested. OBD Health Check allows you to quickly check OBD2 codes and readiness monitors. For access to all modes of OBD2, select OBD Diagnose. Start Communication automatically starts a test session. Connector Information provides the data link connector location, and Manual Protocol allows you to select the communications protocol. Readiness monitors provide a status report on emissions-related systems. Some monitors require an extensive drive cycle in order to complete the requirements of the test. Two readiness monitor options are provided. Monitors complete since DTC cleared and monitors complete this cycle. Results are shown for each monitor, including vehicle support status and test complete status. Select Fast Track Troubleshooter for access to expert tips that pertain specifically to engine and emission systems. Then select Engine. Then select Tests and Procedures. Select Drive Cycle Procedures. Select Generic Drive Cycle. Here's the Drive Cycle Procedure shown step by step. Troubleshooter code tips can help save you time by providing common causes for codes. Let's see. Select code tips. Select P0XXX DTC tip lists. Then P0503. Here are a few possible causes for our vehicle speed sensor code to get you started in the right direction. Now let's take a quick look at what's available for each mode in OBD2. Diagnosing a check engine light? Mode 1 is a great place to start, as it displays all available engine and emission systems data parameters. Mode 2 displays freeze frame data. Freeze frame provides a record of data parameters captured at the moment a code was set. This snapshot can give you valuable information when starting your diagnosis. Mode 3 displays current OBD2 codes. All codes are listed with descriptions. Remember to use Troubleshooter for additional information on each code. Mode 4 clears OBD2 codes and turns off the Malfunction Indicator Lamp, or MIL. Caution. This also clears freeze frame data, pending codes, and readiness monitors, so this is usually the last step in the repair process. Modes 5, 6, and 7 display data parameters related to oxygen sensors, manufacturer-specific tests, and trouble codes detected during the last drive cycle. This is useful in determining the root cause of recurring fault codes. Mode 8 provides onboard tests for components. The availability and application of this mode varies by manufacturer. For example, on some Ford systems, it can be used to close the canister vent solenoid. Mode 9 provides options to view information, like ECM calibration and ID numbers and the vehicle identification number. Mode 9, in-use performance tracking, displays a record of the number of times each of the readiness monitors has been completed. Mode 10 displays diagnostic trouble codes with permanent status. These codes are stored in the powertrain control module for 400 days and cannot be cleared. 
not all vehicles support Mode 10. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next great product from Snap-on.